Today, I'm going to go over Gladstone Land Corporation, ticker symbol L-A-N-D. The company is an agricultural real estate investment trust, which engages in the business of owning and leasing farmland, and they aren't making more land, except for in Dubai, but that's not the kind of land we're talking about here. A viewer named Volca is interested in this stock, so I thought I'd go over it. But before I do, I just want to thank everyone that is watching from the United States, Russia, Canada, South Korea. I just saw a BTS concert and they put on an amazing show. I want to thank everyone that's also watching from Germany, the UK, Turkey, and the Philippines. Now to the numbers. It ended the day at $39.67. It is down nearly 3%. The 52-week low, $19.95. The 52-week high, $42.10. Volume higher than normal with 383,000 shares traded. We typically see 371,000 shares traded. It has a market cap of $1.4 billion. It pays a dividend yield of 1.34%. Under the performance, it is down nearly 1%, a half a percent there. For the week, it is up 8%. And for the month, it is up 89%. Congratulations if you've been making money off of this stock. Under the technicals, it's considered a buy as of right now. And under the analyst rating, it is also considered a buy. Now, on tipranks.com, the low forecast is $25, the average is $30, and the high is $33. On stockanalysis.com, the, pro the projection came in almost at the same price target, and basically, we have hit it. So we are right up here. The, it ended the day again at $39.67. Now, until the analysts come out with new projections, we don't know where we're going, but if you use the grid as a target price to the upside, that is $43.98. And to the downside, we are talking a target price of $35.97. So we are right here at four standard deviations right here. This is two standard deviations, this is three standard deviations, and this is four standard deviations. This is money, this is more money, and this right here is the jackpot. And you cannot expect a stock to continue to run up without taking a breather. I expect a stock when it hits this area of resistance to go sideways, to barcode, to base, to take a breather before possibly going up again and creating another channel and hopefully it will create another channel but that's where you have to do fundamental analysis as well and look and dive deeper into the financials and you can do that right here and then obviously check out other websites and go to stockanalysis.com for more information as well or just google it but people begin to start taking their profits at this zone right here so we could possibly go down to the next level. Once the price is up here, this becomes a level of support. And then if it continues to drop, this also becomes support. Now this is on the way up, resistance, resistance, and resistance as well. So again, don't expect it to continue to run without going sideways and barcoding. People are taking their profits and they are going to run especially the day traders. Taking a look at the RSI, and you can see right here, it is starting to go down. And this right here at the 70 mark is the over, excuse me, that's not oversold, that is overbought. Let me just change that out. On the weekly time frame. And notice when we are above the 70 level, it starts to sell off. And right here, it starts to go down. And right here, when it hit three standard deviations, it started to go down. Here as well, in line right here, it could not continue its momentum and started to go down. And that was about 
two on the RSI started to go down. So you can expect pullbacks whenever we hit the zone right here. And back here, when price, the RSI, excuse me, was 78 and the price started to come down, that hit negative two standard deviations. So when the stock hit support down here, notice when a stock hits support, it starts to run. So it started to creep up, could not gain more momentum, and then started to fall apart, go down, go up, go down. So it goes all over the place. So again, do not expect a stock to continue just to rip straight up. It does not do that. But I always anticipate something happening when a stock hits this line, which is negative two standard deviations. It's either going to go up or from here, it will go down. And in this case, it did go up. And down here, when the RSI was nearly oversold, you can see it started to go up as well. And that coincides up here. And you could have purchased the stock at about $9.57. Down here, it hit support. I anticipate it to go up. This is basically the RSI being oversold on the weekly time frame. Oops, let me move that. So down here, price was at $11.25. And then down here, the RSI was at about 25 and price was at $6.82. Let's take a look at this on the daily time frame. Let me erase this because it's starting to look ugly. Oops. And on the daily time frame, all right, to the upside, we are talking $42.15. And to the downside, one possible level could be $34.77, but there are many levels in between here as well. I'm just giving you some broad numbers here. And notice when the RSI hits 70 and above, in this case, it did go up before it went down again, went back up and then down again. And then here, this zone above 70, it hit this area and started to fall. This is resistance at two standard deviations. It could not continue up, so it fell down to this line right here. This is the median or the middle. And when price is up here, it hit support then because it hits support, when, when a stock does that, it tends to go up, and that's exactly what it did. Back here, the stock hit negative two standard deviations, another level of support right here, and that was at about $21, and it started to go up and hit this area. And the RSI did not quite make it to 70, but close here, start and started to fall down. So we, right now we are at 56. So hopefully it will take a breather, go sideways, and then make another le leg up to another channel. We can only keep our fingers crossed for that. The, the MACD looks like it's starting to hook down, so possibly it could be coming down. So just anticipate a possible pullback here. Now I wanna also go over how the market did today. Microsoft down nearly 2%, Apple down nearly, oops, nearly a half a percent. My monitor just turned off. Let me just turn it back on here. I do not want to re-record this video. I should have probably just ended it. But Nvidia down. What else here? We're talking Intel down, AMD. Visa, MasterCard, JP Morgan Chase, the financial sector in the red, communication services in the red, Google down, Facebook down, Amazon, Tesla in the green after reporting some fantastic earnings yesterday. And um, they recorded, I think, $3.3 billion in profits or something like that. That was just incredible.
But that does it for me. If there's a stock that you want me to go over, please comment below to see my other stock picks. Check out my other videos.